We took our puppy Sami on his first intercontinental flight, or so we thought. I filmed everything I did in the days before the flight, from the travel documents to grooming, I even put Sami on a diet to make sure he gets to fly in the cabin with us. I was super excited about the whole trip. But once we got on the plane, things didn't exactly go according to plan. They cancelled our flights. There are no words, I, I don't know what's next. In the days before our flight, everything was normal. I did what I always do before flying with my dog. First, I went to the vet to get Sami's travel papers. He needed a health certificate to enter the United States. If you watch my previous video, you can see more details about that. Then I checked Sami's weight because he needs to be under 8 kilos to fly in the cabin with us. Oops, 8.05, he's right at the limit. Our vet's advice was to give him less food for his next meals and he's also gonna skip dinner the night before the flight. Hopefully that's gonna bring him down to an ideal 7.7 .7 or so. At least that's the goal. Next on our to-do list is grooming. I like to get Sami a short haircut before we fly with him because I want him to look as small as possible in his travel bag. This way no one can say he's too big to fly in the cabin. Well, hopefully. I left Sami at the groomers while I ran some last minute errands. Three hours later he looked like this. I love this puppy look on him, he's absolutely adorable. The groomer gave him some of his favorite treats for being such a good boy. And then we were on our way. Once we got home we did some training with the carrier bag. I'm using cooked pumpkin as a reward here because Sami loves it. Even though he's an experienced flyer, before every flight I like to retrain him to get in his bag and be comfortable in it, especially since this will be his longest flight yet. The day before the flight we drove to Lisbon because we live about 2 hours away and our flight was early the next morning. We didn't want to wake up at 5 am to drive here, so we checked into a pet friendly hotel by the airport. This is the food that I packed for Sami to have with us on the plane. It seems like an awful lot of food for his one meal uh, on the plane, but I just wanted a backup in case of any delays, of any kind of problems, like if we get to the United States and for any reason they don't allow Sami in and we have to return, I want to have enough food to, you know, survive. The plan is that this evening he's not gonna have any dinner, we're skipping dinner all together. This way he is as light as possible tomorrow for the check-in and also he won't need to poop in the morning, you know, so in case we're gonna walk him for about half an hour or more, but in case he can't poop we don't want him to be uncomfortable for the whole flight. Our vet actually suggested for him to skip dinner altogether. And he's been staring at me for the past two hours. Like every time I, I do this to take out my phone or whatever, he just stares at me with those eyes. So I thought I'm just gonna give him a little bit, a few pieces of kibble, uh, just so that he won't have an empty stomach. Do you want to eat a little bit? A little bit, look. Three, four, five. <laughs> In the evening, we went for one more walk outside the hotel, then I tried to get Sami to play, to, you know, tire him out. I brought his stuffed squirrel that he usually loves to chase. Well, not now. Just to be clear, he is a Westie, so he plays when he wants, not when I want him to. So after a few tries, we decided we'd call it a night and go to bed. Once we got to the airport, we went to the check-in office. We paid the pet fee for Sami, which for this flight was 200 euros one way. So yeah, quite expensive. But it's a transatlantic flight, so what can you do? I always do the check-in with Sami like this on the leash and I keep the bag separately. So this way they never weigh both Sami and the bag together. Honestly, if they did, it would go way over the maximum 8 kilos allowed. So this is always a good tip for when you're traveling with a dog. We passed the check-in and we're in. They didn't even weigh Sami. It was the first time that we fly that they don't weigh him at all. Um, all the dieting was for nothing. They just asked to see his carrier bag, his documents. The lady there was super nice, she petted him. Now we are out for a walk in front of the airport. We still have about 30 minutes before we need to go through security. So uh, we're gonna tire him out a little bit before his big flight. 
The airport in Lisbon doesn't have a pet relief area, so we always make sure we have enough time to walk Sami. We even played with the bottle to get him tired. Well, it was more me than him, but worth a try. Then we met another dog traveler who was going on an even longer flight than we were. 12 hours to San Francisco, wow! Suddenly, our 7-hour flight didn't seem so long. Little did I know, we wouldn't be flying at all. But wait, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Going through security was a breeze and we were relieved that everything went so smooth. America, here we come! Also, it's funny to see how people react every time they meet Sami. Oh, hi! Oh, I had one of these! A whiskey! Yes! What's his name? Sami. Sami, mine was called whiskey. Whiskey, I hi, love baby. him. Hi, baby! Oh, I love him. Uh, he's a sweetheart. He is. Look at that. Yeah. I feel very honored. Oh, beautiful. He's thank sleepy. you. Uh, thank you so much. That was so sweet. He's so sweet. On the plane. After we've had a little mishap, we almost lost Sami's carrier bag on the way here. We were the carrier bag was on top of our bags and it wasn't secured. So we were in a hurry to get to the airport and it fell somewhere on the way. And when we got to the airport we realized we don't have the bag. So we went back for it and thankfully we found it um, on the street. Sami is in his carrier bag under my seat. He's Sleeping. very excited to go to sleep right now. Um, but first, I'm just gonna give him a little bit of kibble because as you know, he hasn't had dinner last night, so he must be hungry. We've been here an hour, uh, we still haven't taken off because apparently there's a maintenance problem. One of the hydraulic fluid tanks is on zero, so they need to fix it. So we'll hopefully fix it, depending on what it is. We could, it could be a quick fix or we could be here for longer, we don't know. At the moment, we're just here waiting and Sami is under the seat in front of me asleep. We kind of expected delays or stuff like that. It can always happen. So that just means that instead of flying for seven hours, uh, it's gonna be more. At least ten, at least nine. At least nine, yeah. We need a spare to fix the, the airplane and uh, so we cannot um, complete this, this flight. Uh, this flight has been canceled. They cancelled our flight. There are no words. I, I don't know what's next. Um, so we're not flying today. We will. I, we don't know yet. We're gonna go and pick up the bags and see what are the options to fly. Just like us, Sami wasn't too happy with the news either, especially because we had to wake him up. After waiting for two hours, we were now off to pick up our bags and we weren't even one step closer to our destination. While we were waiting for our luggage, we tried to get in touch with Delta to find out when's the next direct flight. This went on for another hour or so until we finally got an email saying they're rebooking our flight for tomorrow. That means we need to find an available pet-friendly hotel to spend the night and tomorrow we start all over again. Watch our next video to see how the actual flight went. Spoiler alert, we did get to our destination eventually, only about 30 hours later than we had planned. <laughs>